welcome to uh, another episode of Diva. I'm Bonnie. And I'm Cassian. And today we'll be discussing all things related to sisterhood, mm-hmm. womanhood, mm-hmm. love, more relationship talk, hey, yo. baby. Yo. But, um, but yeah, let's just let's get dive right into, right into it. it. Yeah. Friendships. Yes. Value them. Do you love do you friends. feel like wait in your five years mm-hmm. here? Do you feel like it took you because we talked about community like establishing community before yeah. but do you feel like it took you how long do you feel like it took you to really establish a community solid friendships or community um i would say three and a half to about four years all right um because i'm going into my fifth year now okay. or like yeah so so december will be five years wow um so i would say like the friendship obviously you don't really count them as valuable friendships or like community until you really get to the nitty-gritty of things like going through things together and so on um so in terms of that like the friends that i have now who are who i feel like are my community are my girls like you know we hang out we talk about issues that we have like we you know, do things together on a regular basis. We talk about traveling together and all this, like that type of community. It took me some time to find. Yeah. And I'm not the type of person, like I'm a very friendly person. Mm -hmm. And I, um, you know, I I can become friends with people very easily, but to maintain those friendships and to know or to put my trust 100% in someone, Mm. There has to be, there's like something that's significant in friendships that happen that I just know. Um, and this this significant thing is if there's an issue, can we talk about it? Yeah. And that's my martyr and that's my marker for, yeah. for friendships. And it's been like that for, I would say, maybe six years. It mm. should have been longer than that. Like yeah. literally since I was teenager. But no one taught me about yeah. friendships, you know, in the Jamaican culture and like, you know, Jamaican society, but now I'm not friend, no friend, ooh, which friend me have? And the, you know, and so they don't really, you, you're not really taught, especially as a black woman, how to maintain and sustain mm. friendships. And I think it's so important. Um, and then when I realized how my daughter behaves, yeah. you know, with with her friends and, and wow. how like genuine and just wholesome and innocent mm. it is, I was like, yo, I want friendships like this. Yeah. Like, th- I need and I deserve friendships like yeah. this. And so I, I actively sought it out, mm. and I actively took, um, like, uh, looked into my life and looked into the things that I was doing and looked into the goals that I had from for my life and the things that I wanted to accomplish and 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 had to kind of take an audit mm. of of my life and say, okay, do the friends I have now, are they aligned with my values? Mm -hmm. You know, are they aligned with the things that I want in my life? Do they have the same morals that I do? Do they think the same way that I do? And I don't mean in the sense of, you know, when I say something, then all of us say yes. I just mean in the sense of, you know, the the way that we want to to be perceived in terms of giving back to our community. Do my, does my friends want to give back as well? You know, like that's something that's important to me. Yeah. Like, you know, are they the, the uh, supportive types that would support mm-hmm. me in the things that I do when I say something like, yeah. oh, I drop, I'm drop, i dropping a song today that they're yeah. excited for me yeah. and not like that secret jealousy where they're like, oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like you have friends, you have friends that do that. Like you tell them something exciting oh, for you. Wait. And then instead of hyping you up, there there's like that, that hidden jealousy. And you can yeah. tell when we, and so I had to kind of look into my life and look at my friendships and, and you know, I, I did this kind of test and I know you, you're not supposed to really mm-hmm. test relationships, mm-hmm. but it is kind but of yeah, test where, you are supposed to in some, yeah. Yeah, in to some see, sense to see yeah, exactly. Sometimes it also happens naturally, naturally. Where, mm-hmm. where, where, you know, she yeah. has the fan and yeah. you're just like. Exactly. Um, and I did this test where like I started um, finally putting out my music and so on mm-hmm. and you know, there are people that have been since the beginning on the journey of my poetry and then my music and, and so on. And then there would be friends where I tell them and they hype and shit. Yo, yeah. yes, bitch. Woo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me hear it. Let me. And they bump out. And when I have performances, they're there and uh-huh. they support me and I support them. And it's a mm-hmm. mutual give and take. Yeah. And then I had friendships where I would tell them and they would immediately switch the subject 
or they would talk about what they've done. So instead of like I say, oh, I you know I'm, mm -hmm. I rap and I created this album, they would go, oh yeah, I used to rap too. You know, kind of thing. You know, it's just like these little see, yeah. subtle things. And you can you can tell, yeah, and then it. you can mm -hmm. know when people are genuinely not mm -hmm. happy for you, mm -hmm. your success. And that was something that was really important for me and really important for my friendships. And so when I took an assessment of my life and, and my friendships and realized which are, oh girl, it's fine, yawn away. <laughs> We've been here literally for hours recording, okay? Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, when I took assessment of my friendships, like I realized and I noticed like things that I did not want. It's mm. kind of the same that you have to do with relationships. You take an assessment. Do you assessment. think you manifested? Your friend? Yes, I totally did. Yeah. And this was I something. I never even thought about it. Yes, I did. I was like, I need, I want friendships mm -hmm. that are we give. It's a mutual give and take. Friends that support me. Um, friends that get hype like me. And literally every single one of my friends, yeah. when we get hype, we get hype, yeah. and we don't care what anybody says or thinks, yeah. and we just have fun like yeah. unconditional love and yeah. just joy that we bring to each other this this type of energy we don't have to see each other every day yeah you know because it's not, it's you have a life exactly. so you have yeah. lives you know but when we do see each other yeah. it's quality it's time rather yeah. than than quantity time Bullshit. so yeah yeah exactly exactly like gossiping and stuff exactly yeah. that was one of the main things i do not like to talk about people yeah i absolutely hate I've it never had friends where we just sat and like gossip gossip oh like, i hate it i mean I, I can imagine what it's like but in my personal like friendships mm. i think also because i'm not one to just sit around and talk about other people like mm. i'm not gonna I'm, I, I, don't I don't got the time we don't like, got the time right like. and i'm such a harsh critic and mm -hmm. judge of myself mm -hmm. like i feel like i'm very 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 hard on myself mm -hmm. and i wouldn't and i know how hard i can be on myself and i definitely wouldn't want to like project that to mm -hmm. somebody else yeah unwarranted yeah yeah yeah, yeah exactly yeah but i mean i don't know i guess i mean i guess i've been fortunate i've never literally had friends that just sat and like gossip mm. but i can definitely but i definitely not. know it's not it's, it's just childish it's, like, it I is that's when I was teenage a child, I, was I didn't like, like it I wasn't in it. I didn't like it, but it was kind of like forced on you, you know, like if you don't do it, then you won't fit in kind of thing. I have no friends growing up. Listen, <laughs> I had two friends at yeah. the high school. Yeah. And yeah. I don't know. It's 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 very odd. Mm -hmm. Like I know I know there are women that do that because I know my other friends of course have mm -hmm. other friends mm -hmm. that do that. But mm -hmm. when we're, you know, hanging Together, out or whatever, yeah. it's just not yeah. Happy, but I mean, they're probably talking about me because I know that they engage with people that yeah. talk to other people. So now exactly. that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, oh my exactly. god. Exactly. And uh, I think you can also yeah. know, like, you, this is another thing that, like, I kind of, you know, tested in terms of um, knowing which people to kind of cut out of my life and which people to keep um, mm -hmm. in my life. So it's it was. It's hard breaking up with a friend, though. It is, but you have to do it. Yeah. You have to. I'm sorry, like, I know it's difficult and it's like it's unheard of mm -hmm. but you have to do it because if you don't then these fr same friends will be yeah. an anchor on your ankle yeah simple like it's really yeah. like it's really crazy like you know and then the simplest thing like they expect you to understand their strife but they don't want to, to put out the energy to understand yours yeah, they're like it's empathetic. Yeah, like, they're too empathetic you know, towards you, but you have to exactly, exactly, and it's it's just not okay. Um, and as it's I was saying, exhausting. It is. I'm it not, is. I'm, I'm not doing it. Like, yeah. I'm just not. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Like, yeah. so what? Like, yeah, I don't do that. <laughs> I don't do that. Like, um, yeah, it's the the the, the test. Sorry, um, that I kind mm -hmm. of had was like um. You know, if those friends are able to sit and talk about other people who they consider their friends, they imagine they what they're going to be saying about you. you. You know what I mean? If they're willing to sit down and talk about people like this happens True. so many times in my life. Yeah. And so when friendship and sometimes it naturally happens that the friendship just disintegrates. And when that happens, it's like this the universe true. going, nope, this person is are not you, for you. Or you realize things. Because mm -hmm. I had a really good friend for like seven or eight years or something and mm -hmm. we stopped talking like two years ago mm -hmm. and it was just one of those things like even if you know that person for a long, long time, time like mm -hmm. then the 
the dissolution of the relationship, like that shook me because yeah. I don't know, you kind of just expect to be friends forever, but then, mm-hmm. you know, people change and people evolve. And yeah. That's something that I had to learn as well. Like, yeah. and, like come to like understand that people, we're, okay. we're, we're constantly evolving mm-hmm. and our relationships are constantly morphing and like taking different forms. Yeah. And, I feel like when that happens, it's kind of like death of what you knew, mm-hmm. you know, of course it's for something better, but that death itself of what you knew your relationship was, yeah. it's just, I don't, uh, I don't handle death well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, yeah. As you, yeah. I, like piggybacking off of what you said, like, you know, your relationship morphing and changing and, yeah. and you start to have different belief and oh, different, yeah. different belief systems, ways of living. um, yeah, ex- ways of living. Exactly. Ways like, exactly. Like I had friends back home and I literally do not talk to anyone back home anymore. Wow. Only one person yeah. really were considered my friend and another person that lives in Miami now. Wow. Um, and they're the only two that I talk to. I don't talk to anyone else like yeah. that back home. And the reason why is because the mindset, you know, like the, the two people who I'm friends with, they've traveled and they've done exactly. things, you know, they've experienced the world. Yeah. They have had different, um, you know, perspectives yeah. to look, different glasses to look through. Whereas the people who live in the Cayman Islands, they just have this one track mind, especially about, mm. um, for example, things like LGBTQ plus um, mm. community, you know, they have this mindset that like, oh, it's this like horrible thing or whatever, you know, and it's, it's for me, it's for me personally, because I'm a bisexual woman, mm. one that is like, a, like, uh, kind of going against me, my personality in yeah. general. Mm. And then two, because I believe that people should be able to do whatever the hell they want yeah. with their life, and it doesn't as long as it doesn't affect yeah. you. Like, what do you care? You yeah. know, why are you talking ill of someone? It, it yeah. doesn't affect your life. Yeah. So like, um, our beliefs on that kind of mm. grew exponentially, yeah. like mm. different. So a lot of friendships kind of fell off because of that. Exactly. Um, I was Christian at one point in time. Mm. And then like a couple of friends. Religious. Yeah, I was. Yeah, it's super religious in the Caribbean, and so I, you know, fell into Christianity. I did feel a call, but it wasn't mm-hmm. the call that I thought that it was. Like I was like, oh, I'm supposed to be Christian. It was more of my spirituality, and I figured that out when I moved to Berlin and again started like opening my mind up and experiencing different things, and then looking more so into the um, like African yeah. uh, spirituality, looking back at ancestors and so yeah. on. So then I was like, ah, this was what it was. This is what it was. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I have friends who kind of like became Christian because I I became a Christian. They didn't follow me, but it was more like the feeling that I was describing to them. They wanted that as well, yeah. and I feel like it wasn't their time to wake up yet. Yeah. And so, um, but they got baptized anyway. Um, and this person, like you know, when I decided to leave uh, Cayman Islands to come to Germany, they were literally like you're gonna go to germany there's so many nazis and and the, all these oh, racist damn. people and so, you know what i mean like i, I get it too, like. i get it exactly i get it but the it's fear. like this neck they try to incite that fear yeah. because they're afraid yeah, of taking exactly. that step and taking they're, they're projecting exactly so that projection that was like step yeah. one for me or it was actually something that happened before that but this was like you know another thing that was like huh, questionable and then i got here and i was dating this white guy when i you know that lived in berlin um but then like i obviously started waking up to the black lives matter to, well not black lives matter at the time but like you yeah. know um just like racism and so on mm. and i spoke out a lot about it on my facebook mm-hmm. so i was like yeah you know white people you know they they need to you need to do better da, 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 yeah. da. and this same person like inboxed me was like girl i had to like she's like your timeline is annoying like um, every time I come on there, you're talking about something racist. How are you gonna be talking about racism and dating a white guy? And I was like, Are you fucking kidding oh, me right now? Those. One of those yeah, people, I exactly. I was like, Are you kidding me right now? She's one of those. And I'm, and I was like, First of all, whoever I date um, does not have anything to do with what I believe is right in society. Like, and if they don't believe that, then I would not be dating them. Yeah. Um, and then so that was another thing. And then um, it's like you dating a person of a different race mm, doesn't sort of invalidate the notion that racism exists. Exists like exactly, exactly, exactly. 
um and so that was another thing and then just like little other and then until finally it got to the point where i was like listen if you don't like what you see on my page block me, me. Yeah, delete like me. delete like, me like unfollow me like yeah and so she so she did and then i just like blocked unfollowed everything else and then she actually reached out to me recently and was like you know i miss you and da, da, da. no apology just like i miss you like when are you coming home da, 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 da. i'm like girl folks i'm in their fucking feelings i'm telling you it's like they they like because it shouldn't even take a pandemic for you to realize that, exactly like, you what you did up. exactly know, and like, then and she didn't apologize either so i was like whatever <laughs> um but yeah so that's that and then just stay in quarantine i'm like, telling you anyway yeah so and and just like just these little things like you yeah. know which, mm. which friends are really happy yeah. for you and mm. and which of them are not mm. and and which ones will encourage you to go yeah. after your goals and yeah. your dreams and to do things that you love in your life yeah. and and to push you and then yeah. which ones won't do that yeah. and i think that was one of the main things that i had to kind of recognize and mm. realize within friendships yeah. and sisterhood yeah. and what it really means mm. like and it's it's really just added value like do you add value to my life yeah of course you do yeah. we are on this fucking podcast together yeah. and it's yeah. not even just a podcast when yeah. we're around each other i have positive energy we talk yeah. about great things yeah. you know we have the same type of mindset yeah. you know so you add value to my life and do i add value to your life you know you have to put you answer those questions exactly. for yourself and to say, okay, it's Cassie and really Listen, someone I, I want to be friends with. Drive, motivation. Oh, thank like, you. I, I think Girl. I personally don't have that. No, and stop it's your like, life. She is so lying, lying you, okay? So I, also, so I always feel that. No, but I always feel like you, look for, you look for the traits, I think, in other. The positive traits mm-hmm. I feel. Okay, for me, the positive traits I wish I could maybe exude mm-hmm. more of yeah. or have. I yeah. look for in other people. People, mm-hmm. and then you yeah. latch on to it. Exactly. And then it becomes and friendship. And it's always positive. Yeah. Though, like, and this is and this is why um, and it's the same for the you know the gossip girls mm-hmm. who Oops, because sorry. I feel like they have such a low opinion of themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they latch on to other people mm-hmm. that also have you know, the same because mindset. they won't admit to themselves mm-hmm. this sort of self esteem or self confidence issue. Mm-hmm. But they'll they can look for other people who are much more vocal about it. And yeah, it's like you know, sitting yeah. all day gossiping. Yeah, yeah. Um, and by the way, she's lying so mm-hmm. much. Like, I'm so excited about a project that she has going right now. Like, y'all don't understand. Okay. And I'm like, Sorry. but I can't tell y'all about it. But just wait. It's, it's, <laughs> just it's wait. It's very exciting. It is exciting. It is crazy. <laughs> it is exciting. I'm like, yes, bitch. <laughs> yes, bitch. Um, but yeah, so like. Would it be, but- even so, like for example, I've told people about you know this project that I have, and it's mm. been interesting to see their responses. Like, mm. oh, this sounds interesting, or mm. oh, okay, as if yeah, do it doesn't it. exactly. And it's just like yeah, okay. girl, don't tell nobody. Stop telling people. Oh, yeah, that's that's yeah, no, that's one Stop thing. Stop telling stopped. people. Yeah, like, you know they say never let the left hand know what the right hand is doing. doing. Don't like, tell yeah. nobody your no. business. Nothing. Trust me, like not everybody out there. And this, this, when you recognize as well, who in the world is for you, yeah, and that is who you share your work with, yeah, and they because they're excited for you, that amplifies yeah, it and it pushes it, it even it's more. And the universe is like, I, right, I it. see you. This Let me true. give you I this. I had to learn that recently to just, mm-hmm. for lack of better words, shut the fuck up. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> Like you yes. just gotta shut the fuck up about yep. your business, like because yep. everyone is not gonna be happy for you. Mm-hmm. But you know, the first, since being in Berlin, I met another another woman recently, and mm-hmm. she seemed very interesting, like very outgoing. And then we hung out a few times, mm-hmm. and I noticed that she made these backhanded compliments. Girl, and, the or, backhanded compliments. Yeah, and I've never experienced that before in my life, Ooh, and it's just like child. Because I'm the person I don't know, like if I yeah. Don't like, if I don't like you, or if I the don't energy, like you, I'm gonna tell you though. The energy, like I'm gonna tell you. Yeah. Too, I'm gonna be like, I'm not gonna sit here and say something that I don't mean. Mean. Like mm. I'm just gonna be like, listen, what you said was fucked up. So yeah. Don't talk to me, and I'm gonna block you. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like that's that's the order it goes. Yeah. Goals. yeah. Mm-hmm. But I noticed that she would make these comments and I spoke to another friend who's actually her friend mm-hmm. and I was just like do you notice this about this person and mm-hmm. she was just like oh my god yeah like she mm-hmm. always makes these comments or she thinks she's better than the, me yeah. she's one of these it's the insecurities like to be tokenized yeah like she's black and mm-hmm. she also she likes to be the token black girl black girl Ooh, black child. Person. 
I don't understand why we do this to each other. It's just ridiculous to me. And I was telling you even before, like, you know, all of this and before we even became friends, I think in our first chat, <laughs> I think we spoke and, and I had mentioned that I cut two people off. I don't know yeah, if I did mention. Real yeah, yeah, exactly. And so, like, you know, that would that's what they, those kinds of things are what they did as well. Like the backhanded compliments. And then also taking digs at my partner. Like, oh. yeah, yeah, like dissing him and stuff. I'm like, you don't know him like that. Like, really? no, like, and I had to like shut them down. Like, don't talk to him. Like, are you mad? Wow. Are you mad? <laughs> you know, are you mad? You're mad. You're sick in your blood clot head. That's crazy. Like literally, literally is, is how I had to like go, what? Like you don't, you don't know him like that. You know what I mean? So these are the things that you look out for. And you know, you and I are friends, mm -hmm. right? And I think when we get to a deeper relationship, mm -hmm. I could say things, I feel like, I, even now I feel comfortable mm -hmm. enough to say things like if something is wrong with your shirt or if your hair was messed up I'd be like girl that hairstyle fix you need to fix wig. it exactly I'm okay with that I actually exactly because I'm my own worst critic yeah so yeah, yeah. I feel like anything that anyone says can't possibly be rebutted so I'm okay <laughs> yeah. with that yeah exactly really. exactly but even like using stuff like that to again as you mm -hmm. said make backhanded compliments you yeah, know I and i like it's... it though because th mm -mm. and it was my first time experiencing that mm -hmm. so you know i basically had to pull her aside and be like listen you don't know me yeah i don't know you but if you're gonna come for me you better be ready for yeah, me right? to say some real nasty shit to you like oh. and not make it a backhanded compliment mm. because i could be like you need to lose some weight you need to fix your teeth you need to fix your fucking hair right but you know what i mean like i could say and i would yeah. say all of those things like, yeah not like oh my god i love this about you knowing mm. that it's like a lie mm. no i'll just be like you should probably go to a dentist and like fix it fix it if, you know what i mean instead of like yeah. doing these backhanded compliments like, yeah you yeah. know, the people that you don't know. No, like, exactly. You don't know me. Yeah. You know, and so it's just like, I don't know where people get this, like, authority yeah. to make these types of, like, statements yeah. to people. It's the insecurities and the ego that, so. that are acting out. I feel like when, when you're and jealous and though, envious. But I'm not out here, like. Yeah, um, exactly. Because, well, because you don't have the jealousy and the insecurity and the envy. Um, um, towards other people, you know what I mean. I do have my insecurities as well, but I, I'm not gonna project it on other people. Yeah, I would never. Um, to like tell, talk ill of them or oh, it's just it's just distasteful to me. Period. It's trashy. That's it, is. What it is. You're it is tacky. garbage. If you, if, you, if you do stuff like that, and I feel like here in Berlin, again, like I always like I. I have four sisters. I went to a women's college, mm. so I'm always. I, I feel like I've always, in a lot of ways, been very advocate, advocate for, like all female mm, communities, mm. like mm. always. Yeah, and I feel like, and especially black women, I feel like black women it can go both ways. Mm. Like you can, I mean, all my best friends are black women. Yeah, yes, yeah, <laughs> and I always sort of see same black actually, women but in yeah. different cities. Mm. Yeah, and in Berlin, it's like I mean, I don't see black. people people in general mm. um but when i do see them it's always like we're either gonna hit it off or we're not and mm. if we're not that's okay and if we are that's fantastic yeah but it's not like yeah i'm not like forcing it or myself, mm. trying myself to sleep forcing friendships too. yeah i used to do that though i think i did as well yeah, i think yeah i think it's it's also something within us like as i said we're cancerians and it's like this thing to nurture and I wanna love care everybody. and love exactly and love everyone and give everyone the benefit of the doubt and so on but throughout your journey you kind of learn to just like not do that at all I mean, like my taurus no. ascendant is like bitch stop <laughs> it's like, girl i'm scorpio ascendant so oh, i never had had any part of me that went bitch stop is almost like give them more love yeah I'm and just like, like mm -mm, so i had to it. teach i had to really unlearn yeah. a lot of things and teach True. myself to not be this way because i just i really wanted to give give yeah. give 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 all the time and i still do it to this yeah. day you know i just give and give and give and give and give and i, I don't know how to take like that when I was super yeah, young, yeah i don't know how to take or how to receive or even how to ask for what i need or desire but luckily i have friends who mm -hmm. see what i need and yeah. go cast i know you need this so here you go yes. you know and, and, and good, yeah good genuine friendships exactly though. exactly that's true. i and, also don't know how to ask or receive yeah man i don't i don't know how to ask at all like I mean, I know how to, but my approach is super direct. Like, mm. it's, yeah, I feel like it can be very 
off-putting yeah and overwhelming to people like mm. if i'm dating somebody and i want attention i'm literally gonna just be like i need attention like, yeah but i think the right person will because i like, do okay. that with yeah. david i'm like listen you are neglecting me he's been away from me for like two days yeah. and i'm like you're neglecting me i need love now and he's like cassian i literally left like yesterday and i called <laughs> you like every single day and but he doesn't yeah, make so me yeah. feel bad about it he's yeah. just like you know what i'll be over yeah. don't worry i'm gonna love on sure. you and kiss on you and so, yeah it, but exactly exactly with the, right with the right person they'll yeah. understand they'll be like come here you big baby and just you know and See, in my entanglement <laughs> it would be like but, but you know I yeah can't do this she's because, too clingy yeah like or whatever they pretend like i mean they're the most oppressed person in the world so they yeah possibly good but then again it's one of the it's, it goes into this like hurt people hurt, hurt people, people. Mm. I, I'm, a, I'm a big believer in that mm, yeah for friendships as well like mm -hmm. you can't be a good friend if You've been hurt as a friend, like you, like it, it just takes time. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Um, yeah, I think that is pretty much all I have to say on this subject. Let us know what Same. your friendships are like. We want to know to our, our all of the subbies out there. Send us a message. Tell us your thoughts on friendships, on love and relationships. Um, so I think that's about it for this episode of Viva Podcast. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you care. Sharing is caring. Love ya. Deuces. Ciao. Mm.